Hello VR addicts and welcome to Paolo Triani's channel. I am Gandalf the Scuffed and today we are doing a comparison of the Cosmos versus the Rift S versus the Index and we are using the game Wizards. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, check that out. Hmm. I'm going to ring Disney. Disney, I can shoot lightning from my hands. What do you mean? I heard in the new Star Wars movie you need a Palpatine. You know, you know Darth Sidious is coming back, right? I, I can shoot lightning. No. No, I, I don't see a psychiatrist. Uh, hello? 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 Uh, uh, I think that went very well. Uh, well, I need to make some more phone calls and uh, I've also got a date tonight and I'm hoping to get laid, if you know what I mean. Um, so uh, yeah, you guys carry on watching the video and uh, enjoy. <laughs> oh, nothing this time, huh? Nothing, huh? Okay, well, first impressions this game actually looks pretty nice. Nice sky. Like the rings. Vianetin's no. Vianetin is like. Can we get rid of the Vianetin? Full screen, any amazing, let's, uh, let's put that on the status so high, it goes, okay, let's, let's put all this on high and just like make a very, very bad looking video. Uh, general options, assist, aim mode, player height, select player mode, dominant hand, bow hand, quiver voice, uh oh, I just heard it like something happening in Windows. I want to make sure that is not me just frozen on the webcam. No, I wonder what that was then. Okay. Uh, I need another monitor screen, how are you? So I can look at both of those at the same time. Uh, movement settings, uh, maybe there's VNet in here and there's also free movement on, controller based, free movement type, controller based. Gazed based, controller based. Movement speed, always sprint. Uh, let's pull that on. So we got like rotation, snap, turning. I didn't feel any freaking turning. Um, 45 degrees, Vionet in. Let's get the Vionet off. I've got my uh, VR legs controller, key bindings, normal. Uh, I guess that comes in a little bit later on. Oh, I have to push the button in. So even though that um, the Vive port supports more of the Cosmos, I'm still getting to the point where I have to push the button, uh, click the button in to turn. That is interesting. I'll tell you something like up in those graphic settings, uh, definitely got rid of some of the shimmer that I saw to begin with, um, which didn't help the fact that, you know, this has got a very poor sweet spot. Um, I've noticed the sweet spot, it does look improved, but like I said, I don't think that's improved. I'm just getting used to it, I think. So there is a good opportunity for you just to get used to it. And the footsteps sound almost like they're in my ears, not down below. Uh, the fireball didn't look too bad. I'm thinking though, oh, it was easy to throw in this. But I'm gonna put the uh, wrist straps on. Just to make sure. Did you see the track in there? Track in. No, you do realize another one I can fry at. Oh. All oh, right, so you gotta press the trigger first. I don't know, my dog's been like, really wanting to bark at everything that walks past at the moment. 
So you press the trigger and then turn. And then what, what's this kind of like? Um, struggling to fire this now. Oh, okay. So you go give it more uh, off. Oh, nearly. Oh, wow, I'm throwing it way too far, aren't I? The hands feel a little unnatural to me. You can actually get this game pretty much on every platform as well, like even the Quest has this on there now. Well, that hand just lost track in a little there as well. Like I do have a green screen, but I'd like to point out it's it's behind me, obviously, and I'm facing you guys. And there is like a dining room table. There's the box for this. There's a, a Rift desk just sitting there. There's a Xbox controller. There's something to get cat hair off me. There's a Rode uh, voice mic or whatever it's called, video mic, uh, just there. There's um, boxes just around here as well, which has got to do with the kids. There is a 280 millimeter NZXT radiator up there, which is the X62, which is there for a GPU, which I never used. There's an LG watch just sitting there. There's also a fan there. There's two chairs just there. There is a rucksack I used for a recent prop for the video. Um, there's my gaming rig, there's my guitar, there is my PC, there's my keyboard, there's, there's so much like so there's tons for it to lock onto and obviously this green screen is not even a proper green screen it's not uh, lime green it's actually kind of more of a grass dark green which is really hard to uh, you know do a green screen prop with but it's also very good for tracking you know it, it can easily more track on that kind of uh, surface so that's kind of literally there for that and it's also cheaper it's a lot cheaper because it's like 70 pounds for a proper paint for green screen um, and this was like what 12 pounds or something like that so it's, it's a lot more better so yeah the tracking shouldn't be an issue because of the room and lighting well I've got like two LED lights shining on the green screen um, which have somewhere near 100 LEDs each, which are quite bright and can be quite blinding. There's one directly in front of me, which has something like uh, 350 LEDs, which sits on top of the GH4 camera. And uh, or I've also got an LED strip light going across my computer to light up my computer area. And just above me, there's also an LED house light, just an ordinary LED house, house light, which actually gives a bit more light around here as well. So yeah, plenty of lighting. And when I first started this up, it also complained that there wasn't enough lighting, which is ironic, really. I bet this is a lot more easier with uh, a different controller. Where did that go? <laughs> I just want to throw it, you know what I mean? I don't want to do all this kind of... Yeah, like, maybe I should have just done that to start with. curious to actually now set up another headset and just see if I've got the same issue like with like say the rip desk or the or the index or maybe even the quest see what it's like on the quest so I, that that went all the way over there it's like it's letting go like early I mean I'm not letting go of this trigger okay <laughs> I actually did it that time but it's when it's like, 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 literally on the target. Come <sighs> not let go. Maybe it's got a thing where if it's not actually locked on, it would just want to go random. I mean, oh, it's supposed to be, oh, it's eyes looking. Okay, there's me sitting there moving this thing around, and it's like, I need to be looking at it, right? It's got to be the controller, right? It's 
So I'm thinking, don't let go. <laughs> what happens if I don't let go at all? Okay. What the hell? Yeah, I'm thinking this is just uncool as hell right now. It's like, it's easier. No, it's not easy. The tracking just went a little as well. Is it because the tracking behind my head is just crap? Yes. I think that might be it, because that was pretty accurate. Like, so if I kind of follow it. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to. Yeah, freaking obvious, isn't it? As soon as I put it over here, it kind of loses tracking, right? Even though it's got all these cameras, it just, you see like the Rift S wouldn't have done that. Everyone goes like the Rift S had problems, but it didn't have that kind of problem. It, it just didn't. Um, the only problem the Rift S was, was it had USB problems. Some people had controller problems, like when they were really going quick. A very small amount of people. And uh, everyone had the problem where it was, if it was too close, obviously it would stick like this does. But they fixed that part now as well, which is quite nice. But it never really had the problem. I reckon you could easily do that. You could probably even easily do that, I reckon, on the Windows Mixed Reality headset, if I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> Look at that. Okay. I don't, I don't want to say bad stuff about his headset because you know, it's not completely terrible. I mean, like I said, you can get used to that horrible sweet spot. It's getting better and the um, God rays seem a little bit more better neither. Um, because you can obviously drown them out if you use the same headset constantly. So, um, and the comfort's not so bad. Uh, it's just the tracking is just bad and you, they can work on the tracking so the tracking can get better. So it's not not entirely a bad headset though. It's just hard to recommend when you know the Rift S is pretty much working really great now and that it's got clearer optics than this. Obviously it's not as sharp as this but it's a bit of super sampling and you you know, it, it'll be close enough. It's a bit, a bit hard to recommend, a bit hard to, for me to say to a friend or, you know, you guys that, kind of not facing the camera, you guys that are, um, you guys that are uh, like watching it or something like that, um, it's a bit hard to recommend to you guys when, um, you know, like when stuff like that's happening because you could come back to my channel and go, look, you know, you recommended this and the tracking's like, you know, subpar or something like that. I just don't want that to happen. It's not just that neither. It's just like I've got too much of a heart to say, look, yeah, get this headset when I know that you're gonna have problems with the tracking. It's, you know, they really do need to fix the tracking more than ever. It's, it's a big issue. The sweet spot, like I said, was a big issue when I first put it on, but it's kind of growing on me a little bit. So that's not so bad and obviously the, the whole lens is just seems dated compared to the Rift S and the Index. Um, so I'd say if you have the money, get the Index. If you don't have the money, get the Rift S. Because you you know if you fit the IPD, get the Rift S. I mean, till they fix this. Yeah, that's a little bit more harder of a turn, isn't it? Oops. I'm just on the tutorial right now and I'm struggling like a little bit with the with the uh, controls. It's kind of easier when it's a little nearer because you can kind of, oop, just burnt my feet off. So I can like look at the ball so it doesn't lose track in, but and then to go all the way around and then release it there is a bit kind of, Kinda of hard. Oh, nearly. It's adding another element to the skill level of this game, really. Uh, see, I wasn't locked on. Even though I was looking right at it. Oh, by the time it actually locked onto it, it was already gone past. Oh, look, I can't. It's weird, I'm not even looking up there though. I'm looking directly at it. Oh, there we go. Um, just need to be quicker. Yeah. 
Maybe do the speed. That was acceptable. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, the sound though. I have to see if I'm going to put the Rift S on at some point and check it out. Oh, chests. I love chests in game. Oh, it says I need to open it with a flame. You know. Cool. Harden two. Harden two enemies have 75% more HP, doesn't affect bosses. Incompatible with cards lowering it, obviously. Okay, so that's just to make things more difficult. Absolutely looks cool, man. You know, like the sound though. Oh, just feels like I'm stamping on my own head. It is actually a nice view. Normally that would be just so blurry, right? Oh, there's yeah, these airships, like we just saw them a second ago, being carried by like gargoyles or whatever they were, orcs, ogres, even. Pinewood, there's another one behind me. Manny anti air. Where's the double A? Okay, so that's my health bar, is it? All right. Yeah, I like the scale. I think it looks really good. And I just think that a lot of this would be blurry in some of the older gens. Yeah, just give me a second. Oh, hit me. Get a fire up on this doesn't seem to just... Come on, man. Ah, oh, got it then. Tracking, oh my word. Come on, man. Am I doing it too quick? Feels like I'm doing it too quick. Yeah, if I go slower, it seems to be uh, a bit more bare. So I just gotta go slow. These guys are huge though as well. They look cool. Like berserker-like ones. Got it. Oh, trying to teleport. It keeps turning instead of teleporting. <laughs> oh, how don't
Oh no, man, I don't want to look at that. Oh, really crap. I think I just saw his potatoes. It's cool, can I? No. Can you can you kind of use this as a shield or something if you wanted to? Don't know what you can do with it. Hmm. They were a tad bit about the tracking, like, and the fireball's just not. Wow, how did that even. <sighs> not easy. Interesting place. I try staying forward, facing you guys all the time. Should teleport over that? Probably not, right? You can get through here though. Oops. Can you get through here? Uh, there's some sort of like a. Uh, don't think I can get. So am I hitting the wrong button here? That's lovely. I thought it was, that's it. Okay, I don't know. Can't set fire to the tree neither. There is like some massive chain here. Hello. Uh, I had this inkling feeling that. Uh, this floor was going to break as well at some point because it looks all half broken already. Can I get up here? Now it's working like fine, you know. Look at it, I'm getting a fireball every single time now. Supposed to do something like that. Oh, the tracking again. Just went. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yeah. Oops. Balka can crash him down as well. Yeah, I know that was tracking. Now nah, tracking again. Oh, nearly. I feel like I'm supposed to get up there somehow, but I don't know how to get up there. Oh, there's something here, isn't there? Hmm. OK. 
okay the other way How do I drain them? Oh, just, just do that, do I? All right, what about these little... I'm gonna drink these, or? Wait, there's, uh, you can see some sort of like fire thing here. Well, it actually worked, which was friggin' interesting. Well, cool. The way is open. Holy crap. Gotta wonder what's this way. Doesn't look like there's anything around here. You have to look directly. It's sharp screen, but you, sometimes you just have to look really, really directly, you know? And then when you go to press the button to teleport, you sometimes turn because as you know, I have to turn the analog stick to move it. Thumb stick. Okay, this place has got a lot of uh, Coolness going on. That's another one of those shards. Nice. It's cool. You probably can pick this stuff up. Look at the size of this thing. work like a torch a little bit. It kind of does, doesn't it, really? It's got, like, massive weapons attached to this. Just going to go and take a look over here, just in case it's a dead end as well. There is definitely something hidden here. You say? Oh, I don't know. What? Uh, not really. Tracking though, do you see it? It was just bad. Uh oh, well, what if I needed it? No chance of needing it now, right? So, what, how do I save this game? Does it just automatically save? What I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of here. I'm actually going to get the Rift S on. Okay, so I'm back in it. I don't think anyone in the house knew they were just coming in like telling me to walk in the dogs and all that kind of crap. I'm not in the right place here. Okay, so let's see how this stuff's on. Oh, I got these controllers, they feel like they're in your hands now. Oh, my left controller battery's low. It's still here at the moment. Oh, the snap turning works perfectly, obviously. See, it's uh, you immediately can tell that it's not as sharp, but you're talking about very small, minute. But the sweet spot is oh my god, it's like so bad, much better, in my opinion. Let's see what the mate oh, that's still open. 
Maybe this. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm not going to use tracking. No. Tracking's fine. It's just, I can't. Just got to get that sorted out, really, haven't I? Can't get anything out of these, can you? You need to get into the ruins. Okay. The comfort. What's going on with the comfort? It's so nice. Now, when you're... Oh, that's a nice view. <sighs> Shit, this is a nice view. You see, it's seems a tiny bit blurrier on the distance. That's where you really see it. But for instance, because of how clear this lens is, pine wood picture frame there just looks like it's there. It's incredibly clear. Nothing is, you know, bothering with the clearness here and like that that going over just looks a million times better than it does on the cosmos but looking at that towers over the back over the background there it do, it doesn't look as nice and um i say that i don't know if it was a bit more redder roofs a bit more color palette maybe i don't know now the sound is literally it's not so much it does feel like it's coming a little bit more down near the feet but it's it's then still quite in your ear. There's only so many hits you can take. Keep an eye on the back of your hand to know your limits. I still don't really get this that much, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Out. Show these guys what we're here for, would you? See? Look how easy is the tracking on this. And that tracking was that good to begin with, trust me. Right? It's just the this one they repaired. The gun tracking. Hopefully. Hopefully they will repair the tracking. Oh, I wasn't locked onto him though. Hopefully. They'll get the tracking dialed down on the Cosmos as well, because considering the lens is sharper, look, I can really put my hand behind my head and just chuck these things all day long. It really isn't a problem whatsoever at all. They didn't even get near compared to what the Cosmos was like. But I'm telling you, the sharpness of the Cosmos, though, that's the difference. This is why I kind of want a Rift X. You know, just exactly the same as this, but with. Um, 1700p screen or something like that, you know, like or a 4k screen, 2k per eye or something. Oh, you like my spicy meatballs? It is my smarty meatballs. At least he found the right way this time. Whew. Amazing how I can turn my hand without even looking at it. Before I was losing tracking, this is just. I would say this tracking is just as good as outside tracking almost, don't you know? They've done a great job. I always think that there's an opportunity for them to add secrets into the game, you know, by letting us go up places like that. So is there a jitter you know, like. No, it's just when you walk in, there's kind of like this of these crystals, jittery feeling. They often form around corrupted rifts that are great for providing power for spells, but they're quite volatile. It takes great skill or recklessness to use them. <laughs> Looks like you'll have to break through a wall to go further. So what? Oops. Oops. I'm sure that's the right... Oh, I'm using the wrong button. Duh. So what does that do then? I 
Stay there. Maybe there's some secret in here, haha. -ha. There you go. That's a full piece. That level me up when I get out or something? I can't remember what you said that does. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting absolutely zero tracking issues with the Rift S, obviously. Looks almost as good uh, sh with sharpness. Obviously, God Rays is a, wasn't really a problem anyway, really, with the Cosmos in this game. But it's definitely not got a problem in here, that's for sure. I accidentally got rid of my way. I keep letting go the thing, thinking it would just hold on to it or something. the Pinewood Rift. What's going on with my freaking teleport right now? It's like slow as it possibly could be. Oh, so easy to fire fireballs in this. Than it was in the other stuff. Are we still trapped? Well, that doesn't seem right. There must be an anchor powering the barriers around here. Hey. Oops, that's got their attention. Guy up there, right? So easy sure to hit we are so close to Pinewood. Don't lose steam now. I was looking at actually way. I thought something was coming out of that door. <laughs> yeah, the Rift Dust has got so much better tracking. Okay, so I thought I'd try out the uh, Valve Index as well. And I actually just tried it a second ago, but I didn't um, hit the record button. And uh, first thing I noticed is that the field of view is much, much better in this than both the headsets, other headsets that I tried today, Cosmos and the Rift S. Uh, the colors seem a bit more better as well than the Cosmos and the Rift S. The Rift S has better blacks, the Cosmos has then second, and this has probably the worst blacks. But you, you could live with it. I think you can live with it quite easily. I think the, pro the problem with the Cosmos though is it has a nice black but I don't think it has nice shades of grey and I think this has nice shades of grey so I think that makes up for it because if you play something like Elite this probably would be better because if you have a black that's just washing out everything else then Elite might not look so good. Um, tracking was pretty decent in this as well. Uh, of course I don't think it's support because this does not work for me. Like even though that's me letting off the trigger for some reason, I think. Doesn't have finger support, obviously. <laughs> so 
So I can't do that. I can do the fireball skill, and it, the tracking on the fireball kind of works pretty well. I don't have the same problem, and uh, that works pretty well, and that works pretty well as well. So you're not going to have much problems with that. Obviously, doing this. I did it a second ago, I swear I did. I did it once and it was really cool. It's a really cool effect actually. The glare is just horrific though, you know? The, gra the glare on this is just not really cool. For instance, like uh, in bright scenes that are white, if you can't see them when you look up at the sky and stuff, you're, you're not looking very well. She does kind of work a little, except it's not telescoping at all. Oh, I actually went all the way down there, that's cool. So basically, like this is just as sharp. It looks almost just as sharp as Cosmos, but I think the Cosmos has got that tight bit more sharpness, especially at a distance. But um, you gotta remember the field of view is smaller and then you've got like a sweet spot that's even smaller and you've got God rays as well. But it's, I didn't see much God rays when I was in this game. I did see like a minute ago when I was playing it and I was outside that I, I you know, when I looked up at the sky, it's not so bad here, but brighter white skies and stuff like that. I was getting the glare and the glare was really bad. The Rift S, I didn't get anything at all. It was perfectly fine. The sweet spot um, is not as nice as this, but this has got a wider field of view, that's why. Uh, the sound on this is quite nice, but um, still sometimes feels like it's coming more nearer here than it is the floor. But with the Cosmos, it was really here. You know, it's really going straight into your ears. And this is walking I'm talking about here because you can hear the quite loud walking. Even though he's on a tile floor, but it looks a bit, it sounds like he's still walking on a very thin planks of wood. And it's quite bassy. But on the index, it's like right near here and it's very bassy. And it was also quite a little bit bassy on the Rift S, but it, the positioning was just as good as this. And I was using the Mantis headphones there. So yeah, uh, the glare just here, like with these lights, I know there's an actual glare <laughs> effect coming from the single thing up there, but these ones here, the glare is just, oh. It just, oh my God, if you know, if they didn't have that glare, this headset would just be phenomenal, wouldn't it? Just be phenomenal. It really would be, be the best headset. Anyone, I'd recommend it. Definitely 100%. I'd be just like, we save your pennies up and stuff. But at the moment, I still recommend the Rift S because it's just 399 pounds and well, it's just so cheap and it's probably gonna go down in price as well. I don't know if I can recommend the Quest unless you want it, just you want an option of mobile and non-mobile because the Quest has got some pretty horrific god rays. Nice blacks though, but it's not it's gonna be as sharp as uh, this, for instance, that I've got right now. So yeah, uh, they all have their problems and faults and all that. The Quest, uh, the Cosmos, <laughs> the biggest fault with the Cosmos, realistically, in my opinion, is, is the tracking now because the sweet spot is get i'm getting more and more used to the sweet spot if i suddenly jump from this back to the cosmos i'll be like oh my god that sweet spot's poor horrible but if you had the cosmos i don't think you'll find this uh i don't think you'll find you you'll get used to it a little if, do you know what i mean and uh, the fire just went out Damn. now for yeah. a quick history lesson Quite some time ago, okay. this quaint little country was taken... And uh, I don't think you've noticed anymore. However, the tracking, you can see I couldn't even play this game realistically later, with the tracking. And this is a Viport game, so I'm actually playing this on Viport. By stopping the invasion in its early days. So go ahead, really. However, I messed up a few I'm going to leave it there. Let's, uh, let's go to the outro a little bit more and talk about it there. Well, there we go. There is a comparison video of uh, the wizards on the cosmos on the rift s and then finally i did a little bit on the index as well and as you can see the tracking on the cosmos was really poor i've actually um had a friend come to me with some suggestions of reinstalling steam vr um, because that can cause some issues some people said that their tracking's improved after that um i've also um 
had a message back from HTC who said that I should check to see if my front face plate's connected properly. There shouldn't be any gaps or something, but uh, I haven't tried that yet, but we'll give that a go as well. But from what I could tell, the tracking on the Cosmos was just unplayable almost. You know, you just, well, you, can, you can play it, but you're gonna have a hard time. It's like, it's like from going, like the Rift S was kind of easy <laughs> mode and the Cosmos was like hard mode. It kind of like added an extra skill level to try to not lose tracking when throwing a uh, fiery meatball. Um, but yeah, that's where it goes. But it kind of looked great in the headset. Um, the sweet spot just seemed to be getting better the more I use it. Of course, like now I've tried the Index and the Rift S, it's, it, you know, it could be apparent back again, but I don't think that will bother too many people if you haven't got a Rift S or an Index. And it's one of those things where if you've kind of got one of those, you might see it more. I've seen people's other reviews where they do have a Rift S or an index and the first thing they'll talk about is the sweet spot as well sometimes. Well, obviously tracking is probably the first part because tracking is kind of terribly bad. It's really weird for support to come back and sort of like make it out like, oh, well, uh, tracking's bad. Have you tried this and this and this? I'm like, really, you not read anything on the internet? If you not got the internet? I mean, you email me, you must have the internet. Surely you know lots of people are complaining about the tracking with your headset. You know, I should have got an email going, yeah, we know, but you know, you can keep hold of it. We are improving it or whatever. As soon as possible, there'll be an update. There was supposed to be an update today, I believe, for something. I think it was uh, actually the, the, the how dark and light it is in your room. Um, I might look a little bit more darker actually because my light strip's not on, but there we go. Um, so yeah, I thought the index kind of had the overall better image of the whole thing but it's going to it's a thousand dollar headset or a 919 pound headset and uh because it had a you know the field of view is nice on it it looked really good in the wizards um it was almost as uh sharp as the cosmos it's weird because i can actually do see the little bit of difference on the cosmos i don't know why um i thought the um, screen door effect probably was a bit better on the index though which is weird as well um obviously the colors and stuff like that um, it's quite nice on the index as well. Um, it's just a glare when I was looking up at the open sky through the beginning map, through the first stage of the map, I was, which you don't see in this video because I accidentally didn't hit record on that. And uh, when I was looking at the sky, the, the, the glare coming down was just horrific. And the cosmos has got god rays, but I didn't see that in the cosmos. You know, they, you can see the god rays when you kind of go looking for them, and uh, sometimes they will pop up and they'll be like, whoa, okay. But it's not like looking up at that sky just then when you saw the god rays, and that was a bit of a letdown for the index. Like I said, if the index didn't have that glare, there'd be, uh, it would just be the most amazing headset ever. Um, obviously, the tracking wasn't fantastic on the index, but I don't think it's supported on Viveport. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it did work, it just, it just felt a little bit more not as smooth. Um, as the Rift S. The Rift S was the smoothest experience when it came to trying to throw a fireball or uh, even doing stuff. I couldn't even do the lightning thing um, uh, and the lightning powers don't work anymore. Um, and uh, you know um, uh, with the index and I couldn't, I couldn't get that working and I, uh, the Rift S seemed to be flawless on it. It was absolutely amazing. The Rift S has got a great screen. It was really clear no problems there. Smaller field of view though, and the resolution you can tell is not as good as the Cosmos or the Index. Um, the Rift S, is, you know, but that's more of a distance though. You know, when you're looking at the sceneries and the distance and stuff, from a close range, it kind of does a pretty good job. Obviously, the screen door is more prominent. Uh, uh, but the tracking was just absolutely shockingly amazing on the Rift S. I just think it's they've done a fabulous job with the tracking on the Rift S. I think uh, if um, inside out tracking is still going to go forward. I think that Rift S has proven that it can do a really good job with that. Um, obviously, I didn't try the Quest. Um, I wish I did have the Quest, but I don't have, actually have the game on the Quest. I'd have to buy the game on the Quest. So, you know, there's that. Um, so I didn't have the time as well um, to do the Quest as well. Um, but yeah, going back to uh, the Rift S, I kind of uh, Rift S and the Cosmos, when I was moving forward, I don't know, because this is after a restart as well on my PC, so maybe something was going on with my PC, but when I was moving forward uh, with the analog stick, which with the Cosmos you have to click in, 
because <laughs> it still recognizes it as an in uh, or a wand, a uh, Vive wand. So you have to click in and that's a bit of a pain. Turning around, you have to click in as well. You have to click, click in. It's a bit of a pain. At least it clicks then. <laughs> uh, so you can move forward um, and it just seems like it jutters a little. And it did the same on the Rift S, but on the index, it was just baby smooth. And obviously with the index, you've also got that frame rate, which I only had set to 90 at the time because I wanted to get a good comparison between. But obviously if I just set that to 140, there was going to be a, a benefit on the index straight away. That's obvious, but you know, well, it's not exactly a super fast paced game, but there you go. So yeah, I had some major issues there with the uh, Cosmos, but there was some good stuff that came out of it. Like I kind of actually felt that, you know, it, it was more livable with the sweet, uh, sweet spot and the God rays. Um, and the fact that it's just not as clean looking as the other two headsets. Um, so if, if you just wanted a really easy setup, it's, it's good. The only issue is if they can't fix that tracking or if that tracking doesn't get fixed, it's just, you just can't recommend it at this present state with the bad tracking. It is just beyond bad. Um, so I could go like, okay, yeah, you could probably get used to the sweet spot. You could get used to this. You could get used to that. You could get used to this you're never going to get used to bad tracking and that is bad tracking and I'm pretty much sure that that tracking is bad worse than Windows Mixed Reality at the moment as well because when you're playing Beat Saber Windows Mixed Reality I barely miss anything it's it's pretty good with uh, when Windows Mixed Reality and the great thing about Windows Mixed Reality on Beat Saber is um, the rumble's quite nice and it actually feels like you're holding a stick like as well um, so that, that's quite nice as well in this it kind of these controllers are just so heavy that um you feel like you're going to kill somebody and beat saber with them they just don't feel great at all um i i don't have much complaints about the buttons and stuff i, I do think it's built really well but the, the actual switches inside don't feel the most expensive but uh it does the trick and the uh, grip button is a little uh, it's actually uh, clicks which is i don't think it's a pressure kind of like one um, so that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, they're just too big. Uh, it looks beautiful though. Absolutely looks gorgeous. That's the, probably the best thing about this. This is really, really, really good looking. But anyway, I'm not talking about, the, about that. I'm talking about the Wizards and how it performed in the Wizards. And I just, yeah, it was, it was too hard to play and um, too hard. I mean, I had to literally keep my tracking front cameras because the side camera just doesn't want to even try, does it? I, I wanted, I had to just keep turning. So when I was going this far back, it just wouldn't see it. Obviously on the Rift S I wasn't getting that trouble at all. On the index I wasn't really getting that trouble at all. It just, the index obviously just didn't seem like it was supporting because it just, when I was doing this, it wasn't doing anything. If I do that on the Rift S, it, it would actually do the spell. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. I haven't actually looked to see if it was supported or not, but you know, index is kind of new tech, isn't it as well? So you can see things like that getting fixed I'm just worried that if this tracking doesn't get fixed, it, it, you know, it's not worth you, you like purchasing it. And I, I can't recommend you getting it, right? So don't get it, either get a Rift S, which is cheaper. Yes, it's not gonna be a sharp, but you're gonna get a clean screen, more or less the same field of view, and the tracking's gonna be great, right? And if you've got a lot more money, get an index where you're gonna get a better field of view, you're gonna get a sharper image. Yeah, you're gonna to have to put it with the glare, but some people don't even care about the glare. You know, it's just, it just affects me big time. I see it straight away. I don't know how anyone doesn't see it, but you know, it's just like the people that claim that they can only see 60 Hertz, I guess, and where you can probably see 144 and they, they you know, they just don't see the benefit. Um, I was one of those people, by the way, until I actually got the 120 Hertz monitor well, I had it I started on 100 hertz and then I had 120 hertz and then I did see the differences uh, the more you use it the more you see it but you got to remember you don't actually see 144 hertz you actually see the effects of what 144 hertz does if you actually saw every individual frame you'd probably want to kill yourself um, because everything would just be like slow mo wouldn't it um, so like even in the movie like when they used to flick up a little frame didn't they when it was only 24 hertz you, you had to sort of pause it just to see what that frame was because you couldn't work it out and he worked out it was a dick but then you know was that like a fight club where they had that in there as well i think they did um but yeah that's uh i can't recommend the cosmos in this present state of tracking i'm going to try some of these ideas that people suggested like support and uh, steve from uh, vr roundtable suggested um 
change in the uh, uh, they, he saw some tweets and he sent me the tweets and all that so I'm going to try doing what they did as well to see if it helps with the tracking at all and I'm going to also update the headset and see uh, you know how it goes and all that but at the moment I've actually put in for a return um, that's the reason why support come back to me instead of going oh yeah yeah just pack it up send it to this address they were like oh try this <laughs> and then I'm going to sort of go no that didn't work and then they're going to go but then you can still try this and then I'll be like, well, that didn't work. And they'll go like, you know, you're over 30 days now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust HTC. I've heard how bad their customer services are. And uh, I think that if I went to Amazon or anywhere else, they would have just given me a label and to where to send it back instead of trying to fix an issue that they already should know <laughs> that they can't fix. I mean, uh, how stupid am I to um, have taken off the cheese grater and not put it on properly? You know, it, it clearly... It's clearly on properly. All the covers are off. It's all perfectly fine. The only issue that makes sense is the one that Steve sent, um, that Steam VR could be corrupting this a little bit. And uh, But the thing is, is, I actually did update Steam VR recently because I had a problem with it. I can't remember what the problem was now. Was it falling through the floor or something? I was falling through the floor, I think, in... Um, in, yeah, that's, that's definitely on. I was falling through the floor in um, Steam Home, and uh, oh yeah, I reset because I had a problem, didn't I, with one of my sensors, the sensor over here. Um, it was playing up, and uh, I asked lots of people for help, and it took me three hours or something to sort out the problem. I did things like reinstall Steam VR, and I, I pretty much reinstalled everything, unplugged everything from the computer, everything from the USB ports, and set for in the index. I was trying to work out and then I came to the conclusion that the sensor was broken and then I realized there was a friggin' mirror in my play space. <sighs> Dumbass. Um, that caused the problem. And no, I think that was my wife just laughing in the background, but you didn't hear it. Um, <laughs> son of a bitch. Never gonna let me down for that. Um, so yeah, that was like three hours of my life wasted, but I did already stall, install VR, Steam VR not that long ago, but I'll do it again and we'll see how we get on with it. But yeah, can't recommend the uh, Cosmos in its present state, but I'm going to keep testing it with games, but Asgard Rafts are going to be out. I know some reviewers got it early. I actually paid for Asgard Rafts, so I'm going to have to wait until it's actually released. Um, didn't ask for a review version. Um, I'm going to actually test it and have a really good honest opinion on that. It doesn't work with a Cosmos, so you know. Um, whilst I'm testing that as well, I'm playing that game. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to use the Cosmos until Revive supports the Cosmos, because at the moment Revive doesn't support the Cosmos. So if you wanted to play Asgard's Wrath, Stormland, Deflect, Defector, or, or any, you know, like From Other Suns or something like that, which I love, um, the Cosmos is just ain't going to work right now because the controllers won't work. You would probably be able to see it, but you won't you'll be able to use the controllers. They just won't work. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give me a like and also please subscribe because it goes straight to the heart and also hit that bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this. And uh, yeah, I love you a long time and welcome to the woods. Ciao.